um, a lot of you that are here have been part of this process right from the very beginning and it's been really rewarding for Young Scott to work with such an amazing group of young people that have contributed so much to creating content for other young people that are going through pregnancy or parenthood um, based on your own experiences and your own lives. Um, we've got a little video to show you um, that we filmed uh, a few weeks ago and um, your reflections looking back on the project and also um, some highlights that we've pulled together from uh, the end um, and some of the pieces of content that you've contributed to, videos that you've been in um, and hopefully it'll play because it's load in and load in um, so I think it's just because I've changed it to HD so it's just loading up but uh, we're going to watch the video and then afterwards there'll be some time for us to just um, have a few speeches, say thank you to everybody um, and things like that and I know that Kimberly on behalf of the group is going to deliver a lovely speech that I've already read this morning um, so looking forward to that um, do you hit the lights in the back? <laughs> My name's Kimberly, I'm 23 um, and I stay in the Lord My name's Gavin, I'm 24 year old and I'm from the Greece and Galway. Hi, I'm Amy, I'm 23 and I started the team project. I'm now 25, I'm from the Greece and Galway. And this is my youngest son, Jacob, who's five. My name's Naomi, I'm 21 and I'm from Falkirk. Hi, I'm Hannah, I'm 21 and I live in Clark Manager. Hi, my name's Neve, um, I'm 21 and I'm from Glasgow. Pen is a group run by Young Scott, which sort of um, we've created a resource for um, young people who are pregnant or have children, and we sort of meet up uh, once a month. It's a bit of socialisation, but also creating new content for people. So we've been meeting every couple of months um, and just putting some great content together. We've kind of taken it month by month um, on different subjects surrounding young um, parenthood, so um, lots of different things, isolation, self-care, um, just all different subjects, just so that there's an online resource out there for young parents to access. Over the last year, the group have created lots of online resources. We've had a launch, uh, we've had days out, and we've had meetings with uh, the Scottish Government just to discuss you know, young parents in Scotland and how the Scottish Government can make life easier and a bit better for young parents. Well, the group's been just creating different um, resources um, for the online web page um, and just creating different kinds of advice for young parents. Um, we've also been involved in different events um, such as the Family yeah. Partnership yeah. event um, as yeah. well as several others and um, just kind of promoting that resource um, and trying to get that information out there to different young parents. It's important to provide the information because some of, some people have no one to kind of relate to. They've got no people their own age or older that's in the same situation that's having a newborn child first time. So it's a lot better to get someone else's perspective and kind of relate to what they're dealing with to help them in a way move forward themselves. I think it's really important to give young people experiencing pregnancy or parenthood the correct information because anybody could end up in that situation and there are a lot of young parents in Scotland and there's a lack of understanding I think. A lot of people, even people who aren't parents, shouldn't read the resource because you never know it could be somebody you know could fall pregnant or could be a young parent and I think it's useful to just have that information and you know how to support them. I think it's really important that the resource is to provide information to young people uh, experience of pregnancy and have children. And it can be really daunting to think about no matter what age you are. Um, there's not a lot of information out there specifically to people for a, a touching, controversial topic, and it's fantastic that young Scott have created it. So if you're 15 or 16, you're scared because everyone can look at this and have a few parts of the um, and it can give a bit of information about what you can do. <laughs> the best part for me was to meet other parents that had like, similar views, although we were completely different, but we all had things in common to talk about, which is something that was just quite easy to lack with people my own age. Well, I think a very big part of it is when I joined, like, I, I was quite isolated, 
um, they've had kind of a really young parent, you know, obviously everyone's a lot older than you, and sometimes you feel like you don't fit in, so being here with other young parents, um, all going through the same kind of a, like, experiences or hardships or whatever that might bring, um, we've all got things in common, so it's been really good to make friends, um, and I think, yeah, it's, it's built my confidence and it's built um, my wee girl's confidence as well, because she's come here and playing with other children her age too, so it's been really, a really good experience, yeah. I think we've made like a great little community, we've all built really nice friendships, so we like meet outside the group, and I think just knowing that other people out there in the same situation, young working parents, some that study, some that are stay at home mums, just I think we went have all came into contact with each other because we all live quite far away from each other, so it's just brought like an amazing group of plans now that things come to an end i'd like to stay involved in the same sort of thing or in the same group if possible the same sort of sociability with people involved in young care and i'd like to stay a part of that hopefully um, we'll all stay together and keep being able to make content and um, put stuff out there on social media and um, support each other still as friends and meet up and keep it alive as much as we can. Now that time is coming to me, I think I'd just like to go to uni, but I'd also like to continue to do some volunteer work because I've applied to be a breastfeeding volunteer in my local area. So mums that are maybe new to breastfeeding <laughs> will go and support them and they'll like, almost like be friends and sort of things. So hopefully I'll get that and then there might be more with young Scott, you never know. My plans for the future are to continue going to parenting groups and keep an eye out for a similar project just like Pink. Well, I'm um, due to graduate um, from university in June, um, so hopefully from there onwards I would like to do something um, to help and support more um, young parents if possible, um, because I just know from my own experiences um, that it's, it's really important. Um, so yeah, I, I think I'll just be happy if I can continue um, doing that in any way and we'll see what the future brings. Now that the pain group is coming to an end, so because my, my time is at the end at university as well, so I graduate in the summer and um, uh, I'm going to be called as a teacher. Thank <laughs> you. 